Haven and Act have been talking for some time about how we best provide housing for people with disabilities across Victoria. Active will bring its uh, knowledge and its IP and its tradition of providing housing for people with disabilities across Victoria and Haven have got a deep uh, development, uh, housing stock, uh, balance sheet ability and we're going to try and work together as non-profit agencies should do to do the best we can for people with disabilities. That value um, proposition is what's brought us here to take up rooms here at um, Mary Street in Preston. We, we've assigned an MOU back in late 2016 and that was uh, so that we had a basis to work together to look at how we can provide better and more housing for disadvantaged Victorians, in our case particularly people with disabilities, uh, across Victoria and bring the strengths of the new two non-profit companies together to work side by side to do that. And um, that holds prospect for more housing, better housing all around, we think. Um, I think they're sort of part of a new start for us in some ways. Uh, we've, for 20 years, been a disability community housing organisation and really uh, our waiting list of times was a thousand people. So our concentration it was doing the best we can with the housing we had. In the new world, the NDIS world, we've developed. We've got a home modification service that helps aged and older people live well at home across Victoria and we've come to realise that we had to have a premises that said more than low-key community housing, that had to have a professional face to the world and to provide a professional face to people who will only for brief times be clients of Active. They will give them services, will help them have a richer life, but they will then go on and live that life. They won't be living in our housing. So, so we had to have a more professional approach. And the other thing that is proven very positive is we're hoping to develop an assistive housing hub. And we've got a mess at the moment, but we're, this is going to be our assistive housing hub. Increasingly for people with disabilities to live independently, they need uh, home modifications or in-home technology, better kitchen cabinetry, kitchen setups, and a lot of in-home monitoring to help people live well, their health status be known, etc., etc. We, we're hoping to have a setup where there's very high class kitchen cabinetry, disability toilet, and a suite for um, technical consultancy so that people can know how to bring all this equipment, all this technology, all this communications technology together in the best possible way. Because as this becomes more and more available, it'll become more difficult for people to know what to buy, who to buy from, what's really necessary in their life. And so, we hope to offer a one-stop service for people with disabilities, for people who are ageing in place in their own home, and it's very much bringing together the strengths of Active and Haven uh, to, to make this space available uh, to do better for people with disabilities as they live in their own homes. There was space in this building for us to be able to do that, and there was no additional space in our old premises, so we had to really think if we want to offer this service and do better for people with significant disabilities. We needed new, better premises and it came to, to be that here in Mary Street where Haven have the ground floor, premises were available and so it's a lot of things have come together to bring us here from Yarraville and uh, we're still in boxes but it's a great move.